Right now at 5.30, a new push to keep electronic waste out of our Bay Area landfills. Currently, the vast majority of unwanted electronics are not disposed of properly. We don't want e-waste in landfills because it can leach. And the issue of e-waste has become even more urgent as demand for electronic devices surged during the pandemic. Now, one local recycling program is doing more than just tackling an environmental concern. Our Kenny Choi shows us how it's giving a lift to workers who are finding new opportunities. Angelica Bailam just got promoted to crew leader working for Conservation Corps North Bay. She's learning to operate a forklift transporting pallets packed with electronic waste and learning English. Her fellow team member, Juan Hurtado, translates. Separating everything pretty much where the flats go, CRTs, uh, mix, we're just separating all the e-waste that we get here. A UN report states less than 20% of e-waste is properly recycled, with the rest ending up in landfills. E-waste is now the world's fastest growing waste stream. We don't want e-waste in landfills because it can leach, right? Minerals in there and toxic materials can leach. Bruce Oshevsky is director of San Jose State's Center for the Development of Recycling. He says lack of legislation and market incentives are reasons why the majority of e-waste is disposed of improperly. What happens then, because of the lack of, of domestic markets, much of that material is going to get shipped overseas. Core members understand they're playing a small part in tackling a worldwide problem. For these trainees, many who come from underserved neighborhoods, it's a chance to make a difference in their communities and for themselves while earning their GEDs. It's a lot of young adults that go through all kinds of stuff and they come here and for me to listen to their stories, to help them out, and just to be that guidance. As they are here over time and start appreciating the work that they're doing and seeing the impact in the community, um, and even having folks walk up to them while they're in on a trail doing work and thanking them, um, they, they develop that passion for the environment and see the difference that they're making while they're here. What Angelica and her team collect and recycle on this day means that much less ending up in landfills, but the gains are much bigger than that. The program is helping them out a lot by uh, pretty much just offering them trainings, uh, teaching them uh, regular work skills, and uh, just helping them prepare for their future job. Their work is reversing the waste stream to a degree while advancing their lives forward. And the nonprofit is funded by Cal Recycle. Residents and businesses can request free e-waste pickups in Sonoma and Marin counties. And there's a limited number of core members accepted into the program each year.